the Black Lives Matter campaign oh, absolutely, yes. has been coming into play. Uh, mm -hmm. and there's there's lots of debate. We're, we're you know we're friends with uh, Rodney Knott. Yeah. Um, and w he's not for it necessarily because he's saying a lot of the the perpetrations of uh, violence um, in the black community is black on black. Yes, there's no doubt about that. Well, that. I think that that response perhaps assumes that Black Lives Matter is directed strictly at white folks. Mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter needs to be directed to black folks too. Uh, unfortunately, I think that I understand why he's saying that because of the way it's kind of been directed. It's been directed as a result of some of the incidents involving police, but the message has to be directed towards black folks as well because we are, in fact, perpetrating violence on ourselves. But, you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes into that, really is. Um, the experience of the African American in this country has led to a lot of these issues. Mm -hmm. It is still true that being an African American in this city or any other city, I'm going to be reminded of that in some way every day. Mm -hmm. For decades, the system of slavery worked very hard to separate families. And now we hear people talk about, oh, there are no fathers in these families. Well, that system has been in existence from day one. Um, that was a system that was perpetrated on them. It was ingrained into us uh, and, and mm -hmm. it can't be ignored. Uh, the war on drugs was focused primarily on African Americans. You didn't see people busting in and raiding uh, suburban neighborhoods. Um, and I think to some extent, when you think about it, some of those issues are some of the things that have caused uh, distrust amongst right. the African American communities towards police mm -hmm. and towards law enforcement and towards the judicial system totally. Mm -hmm. uh, the sentencing guidelines were inherently racist, in my opinion. You know, all of these things are, are things that have been in existence for years, and I don't think that we've really understood them or talked about them. What we were taught in high school about American history does nothing to clarify what happened to African, Africans brought into this country as slaves uh, and how that affected generations to come. While African Americans were slaves and working for nothing, and having their families separated, white folks were building kingdoms mm -hmm. and businesses and passing on wealth generation to generation to generation. While they were going to Harvard, we were lucky if we could go to school. Mm -hmm. um, and the things that has taken white America centuries to build are the same things that black America has not had the same time to build. Money seems to be the one thing that everybody respects and when one side has so much of it and another side so little, then that doesn't really work very well in terms of being treated equally. Right. Or in terms of even being viewed equally.